Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Viss, and we return called Wild the Angler, where we're continuing along to try to knock out this last uh, gold rank mission in Emerald Lake Plateau. So we have a photo. We're trying to figure out where we gotta go for like the location of this. I know it's in. Well, we ruled out it's nothing up this way. Uh, I mostly ruled out some of this stuff. I'm actually just going to fast travel us back here and check a little bit south in that one spot, but once we can figure out where this is, it should be pretty easy to get the uh, what we're after from it. I've got the hook size chart still up with me here. We hopefully won't have too much of a delay when it actually comes to the fishing for what we're after. Yes, yeah, so let me see. I need to go... Okay, basically just follow the road straight as it leads out of this little spot. So that's good to know. And it shouldn't take too long. One thing that might have been able to help me out for this search has would have been using a lot more of the uh, lookout towers that the region has. They are something where, although they won't tell you exactly what's around you, you might get little uh, marks left on your map with like little question marks of like stuff to look at, like possibly boat landings, uh, trailheads, points of interest, maybe even water bodies too. Okay, yeah, so... Oh. I think we found the photo location. It was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the spot. There's the dock that the photo has us basically down along. There's the boat launch. So all we gotta do is get to the end of the dock. Well, the one thing I'm noticing looking around... We don't have one of those little, like, uh... Objective things showing up. There it is. I was wondering when we were going to have that happen. So yeah, basically go here, look at that. There we go. And we need a brook trout. Okay, so brook trout, let's see here. Uh, to do hook size 5 and 4. So we got the right equipment for that. We just have to figure out what they like to strike at. And brook trout are actually... There we go. Spoon, spinner, and eggs. So you know what? I think we'll start with the spoon again. So we need a lure, that. Go for the Iago. We'll go for that. And I'll go for a hook size of four. And see how long it takes for us to get what we're after here. Truth be told, I see a couple of fish right over there. So we'll see if maybe trying to bring it over by these two here will give us a nice easy finish. And then from here, I think we just have Silver Strand and Diamond's Peak to tackle. And I'm not sure which one of the two I want to go after first. I might actually check our funds and see if I've got uh, better equipment for possibly tackling that last Silver Rank mission for the Lake Trout. I think I also still have the one for the Burbot to go after too, and it looks like for that... I need a hook size of five or four? Uh, hard to say. Okay, but there wasn't really any interest from that. So I'll cast over this way. And we'll just try a few casts out and see if we can get something interested in it. Like, the water is clear enough we can see a few fish swimming around here or there. I kind of am thinking if it's... we're going for brook trout, maybe the brook name means we should try more for, like, the... kind of... Ah... Uh, I wonder if... no, if I'd call it, like, a river mouth, but... It kind of, like, funnels out, and there's, like, a little stream or a brook that connects this water body to, like, the main, uh, waterway. Back behind us there. Like, yeah, that over there. So I'm wondering if I should try casting more for that direction. And just see what results we get from doing that.
Now we'll try a couple more casts with this. If that doesn't work, switch it up to uh, one of the different lures. And just trial and error until we hopefully get what we need. Seem there's any interest on that cast either. I'm gonna try one more way out there if I can. And just see if maybe they're in the middle of the water. There's something. I don't know if it'll be a brook trout or not, but decent size, so we did have to step the drag up a little bit. Granted, not by much, though. Oh, eh, good sign. I think the coloration looks about right. It's a trout of some sort. I think it's a brook. I don't think it's a rainbow. Let's see. It's our gold brook trout. Uh, that simple once you have the right hook size. Okay, so there's that. And let me check the journal again. So I believe that covers all of Emerald Plateau. So all we should have left are, yeah, Diamond Peak and Silver Strand. Okay, so I might... I'm thinking I'm going to take us back to tackle the Silver... Yeah, I've got the Silver Rank Lake Trout to do, as well as the Silver Rank Bourbon. So, you know what? I think we're going to focus on those again. I'm going to take us first back to uh, the shop here. Uh, where's the fast travel point? There it is. I'm going to see about picking us up a bit of stronger line. Because I think that was the big thing that was killing us when it came to trying to land the, uh, the lake trout. Yeah, it says the max lang strength there is six. So I think we might, n and what do I need for a silver lake trout? Hook size. Actually, it looks like I need hook size of two or one. Okay. So I'll have to see about getting that on. Uh, let's stop in with Sophia and see what we can pick up. Beautiful day we're having. What can I get you? Actually, let me check local souvenirs. Okay, so okay, there are a few things in here, but I have picked up the only. Okay, looks like there could be a second tackle box expansion, but it needs five thousand for it, so we're not getting that too soon. And yeah, I don't really think I need that. Storage-wise, I think I've got... Actually, let me see if I can buy more hooks right off the bat. Nope, I can't. I can only go up to hook size of that. Okay, but the strongest line I've got... You know what? Yeah, I will pick up a second of those just to have. Ah, uh, there's nothing else super here I think I was after... Yeah, it shot up to 2,500. Now I'm starting to feel the currencies sitting in a lot more for, like, how much we can go for. So I need to be level 22 before I can actually get the uh, hook sizes of 2 and 1. I'll be right here with the so I don't think I'll be going after the uh, lake trout like I was originally planning. But I should be able to go after some of the other fish, as long as they're gold rank challenges. So maybe we'll start with... What do I need for a gold rank channel catfish? Hook size 2 and 1, so I won't be going after that. Silver rank burbot. I don't actually know what... I mean, I know the hook size I need, but I have had mixed results trying for them, so I might skip that. Maybe we'll try for... I'm trying to think of where that could be. Truth be told, I think that might actually be around the fast travel point uh, up over here. Because I can't think of anywhere else where there's, like, 
almost like a house sort of building to be. So we're going to work at Silver Strand with some of its cold drink challenges now. Actually, truth be... Hang on a moment. If I take a look at... Uh, no, not that one. I had one specifically picked out I was looking at. The menu really likes flipping around for what it has you left on. Okay, I see there's that one... I think that I'm looking at that there. So the only thing I have to try to do... I'm thinking maybe one of these water bodies... All right, and the vehicle pickup place is right. I think I might just go on foot and see if I can look around, because I think the one lone structure I'm seeing in the photo is that. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just the backside and one of those water bodies with the foot trails around it is where we need to go for this challenge. See, I'm just going to go for a bit of a sprint over this way. And try to see if that hunch is correct. Because I can't think of anything else that would have, like, this squarish, like, rock standing straight up. It almost resembles another building from their certain angles, which is where my thinking is that maybe I need to be at the back side of it. Come on, get up there! Yeah, so we'll just run along the trail a little bit more, and we should hopefully find the location in just a moment. Because there are a couple of water bodies that it could be. I think that it should be pretty easy to see which one it'll, it is once we can get eyes on the dock that's nearby it. Okay, where the heck am I running off to? Yeah, I should be going the right direction. There's... Right over here. Actually, I think I see a chimney, so it might very well be this one is the one we need over here. As it looks like there's, like, the folding chair, a house is not too far off, and then there's that larger rock in the distance. Rock, boulder, stone formation, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's definitely chimney. Oh, this is, why is this a fast travel spot? It's called Mountain Lake. Yeah, yeah I'm basically 100%, well, I should say 100%, I'm like 90% sure. Nope, oh, another figurine. Oh yeah, this is definitely the place. I think it's actually just over this way. I should probably see the little folding chair. That's our cue that that's what we need. I can't remember if we need a rainbow trout or a golden trout here. I, From the looks of it, I think we are up at this tip of the lake. Oh, yeah, that's the chair right there, more than likely. Yeah, indeed, this is the place. It actually gave us the uh, map mark there. So let me just walk us out. There we go. Okay, we need... Ooh, a gold rank rainbow is actually going to be a bit of a test for our equipment. Because for a rainbow, we need a hook size... Another two or another one. I could try with a smaller hook size, but... You know what? Yeah, you know what? We'll try with a smaller hook size, just to see if we can get lucky. So they like spinner, pearl barley, and dough. Uh, see, the only thing I have is a hook size of four for the spinner. I guess we'll try float fishing and seeing. All right, you have the... Okay, there. 
Yeah, I need a hook size of three, which I had on the bottom rod. Okay, there's the dough there. We'll toss this out and see. More than likely, we're just going to get a bunch of uh, silver ranks. Because, yeah, it is hook sizes number two and number one I need for there. So what are all the species I do need hook size two and one for? Rainbow trout, channel catfish, northern pike, and the tiger muscalunge. So they will be a bit trickier to get until I hit the next level up. Once I get that, all I need to do is buy the hooks, and we should be solid for those. And then... Now, one thing I might have to double-check is going back to Ruby River Range and Emerald Lake Plateau, because... I don't know if they actually said there were any diamond challenges that were unlocked once we'd cleared them all off. Because I know when I was playing before the console release, there were diamond rank challenges to go and pursue. The one in particular I did, I think, was for Largemouth Bass and Diamond Peak. But I don't know if I've heard... I might actually do that this episode before we do end things off. Let's just try and see if I can get out and... Uh... Check those other outposts. I don't know if all gold ranks have to be completed and then you might unlock the diamond rank challenges or how it'll kind of go through. But also it does kind of seem like there is a lot of extra gear that... I don't know how much of a grind it will take to get up to. Like, so far, the gear grind hasn't been too bad. Just, that looked like a really tiny thing to jump there. But now it feels like we've hit a hard point where it's going to take a lot of funds to get the next kind of stages for things and to get up for stronger rods, lines, reels, etc. So it could be something... Having Troll Spirit might feel, like, necessary with how the base game has kind of hit this point. That or the Apex account and the daily challenges. It feels like you can cover most of the game without the stuff, but here, once we're towards like the tail end of the gold rank challenges with the species and such, I think we're hitting a harder point. Especially, too, because your fishing does thin out if you are focusing on the challenges. Because, again, only certain species are actually large enough to go after your lures. Whereas earlier in, you would have had a little bit more variety tackling your stuff for things. Again, nothing's gone for that. I'll bring that in, and maybe we'll try catch... I'll try casting a little closer to shore over here. But I'll probably have to start going through a little more carefully for these gold rank challenges, knowing now that there are quite a few fish that I can't quite really hard target like I have been able to for others. Like, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's basically... Rainbow Trout, Channel Catfish, Northern Pike, Tiger Muskie, and Lake Trout are the five that I don't have the hook size for yet. So everything else is fair game, and I will want to try tackling them, because everything else will probably give us the experience to hit level 22 to get the chance of getting these larger hooks for it all. But I am a little surprised that I'm not getting that much interest from this location for, like, uh, anything striking. I was like, I thought I would start catching a few silver rank rainbow trout. But not even one has shown interest in, like, nudging the bait or such. And yeah, just going to read over. There are a few legendary species of fish the game has. I could actually try going after one called Goldstein, but I don't... I feel... 
I thought I've read through like some of the Steam discussions that they almost have like only certain days you can catch them. I might be mistaken on that, but there's probably certain conditions or that or criteria that do make them legendary fish that you can only catch with certain conditions present. But yeah, not a single thing showing interest here. And it does say pearl barley and dough. I'll bring that in and we'll try changing that up for the... Oh. I'll try dropping that right there, because, I mean, that was a rainbow trout just to the right of us there. Maybe I'm casting out into too deep a water for what we're after. Yeah, see, like... That's a... Looks like a decent-sized rainbow trout that's swimming away right there to the left there. I was kind of hoping casting nearby would have its interest a bit better. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't think... I don't know if it will be a gold size. I'm guessing it's probably just a silver. But it's far better to have any fish than no fish. Okay, I gotta give credit. It is actually giving us some good resistance back. But I think it is just gonna be a silver rank. Oh. Let's see. No! Actually, that's a pleasant surprise. That is a gold rainbow trout. Which lets us complete this mission too. I thought it would have just been a silver, but it is nice to show that... As much as this wasn't the quite correct matchup for cutting things off, you can catch bigger fish on a smaller hook. So with that tackled, if I go back into here, that's a little ways off, so I don't know if we'll hit that. That one is where? Okay, that one's a little off as well, so we don't have anything that's too quick to reach that. I might want to try one more mission if I can. Oh, okay. Looks like I don't have much variety here, really. I think this might be the best one to go for, the gold rank Orid. Because that should be just that little bit of... Yeah, it's just that spot to the east there. So fast travel here, grab a quick vehicle, drive up the mountainside, and see if we can reach that spot, and maybe even get another mission done today. Yeah, basically just straight east. I just have to find my way up through the trees. And that's... Okay, we hit a stop a little bit faster than I planned, but I think it's probably for the best. Let's see, I'll... Yeah, I'm going to be faster on foot. Just gotta get some hiking in. Come on. There we go. Yeah, just, as long as I'm hitting directly east, thanks to the little compass on the left, we should basically almost fall into the lake once we arrive at it. I just want to double check the map and make sure I'm not going too far. No, we're about halfway there, so it shouldn't be too much further. And it'll be even quicker because it doesn't look like it's too far uphill from here either. But, the, but again, you have these little tucked away areas, and it just feels like there's so much more that you could try doing with so much that area of a map. Oh, here we are. Yeah, new water body found. Okay, that's a check mark there. So what do we need for the Orid? Uh, there you are. Eggs, red worm, crankbait, and the Orid will strike on a... Looks like a hook size of four and three as well. Uh, 
Okay, actually, I gotta double check. I'll put Red Worm on for now. What were the three that it wanted? Eggs, Red Worm, and Crankbait. So, pretty sure that's what I've got on is Red Worm right now. Yeah. And was there anything else handbook-wise? Are they one of the ones... Okay, they are easily spooked, so I can't get too close to the water. So, we just gotta cast this out and wait and see if we can get lucky. Because I'm pretty sure that this is a hook size... I feel like I got hook size of three on there right now. I'll just do a quick check. Which I can't do because it's in the water. I'm just going to say it's a hook size of three because I went for the biggest I could for the rainbow trout. So it has to be that. But we'll give this a few minutes just to see if I can get lucky so we can knock another one out. Nope. Well, there was something jumping close by it. And depending on how well, how this goes, we are inching closer and closer to 22. So I might just have to figure out another small little, uh, some of the other smaller gold rank challenges, and then that'll let me have the better hook size to more easily target the ones ahead. Truth be told, I'm not... I'm a little worried about some of the species we have to tackle next, like the channel catfish, the pike, the muskie. Those are all some of the larger species that Golden Ridge probably has on it. So my thinking is that they might test our gear for what their weights is. They might have line snapping or gear breaking on us if we're not careful. Although, truth be told, I don't know if the gear could ever really break, like how I think it might in Russian Fishing 4. I think it might just be that the line will always snap on you. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I, I just want to check, too. In the handbook, is there anything trait-wise, like... Easily spook, jump, or last stand, sun lover. So I don't think there's anything, like, specific water depth to try at for this. And crank... I might actually want to try a crankbait, too, because... Oh. I was like, that is one of the things they have, and it's not a hook size of three I have for it, but I do have a hook size of four. Yeah, you know what? Instead of just sitting here waiting for something to happen, I'm going to see... Oh, I don't have a hook size of... Darn it. I feel like I can get so close, but then there's just one thing I'm missing. Eggs, red worm, crankbait, jerkbait, worm. Yeah, I'm basically just going to have to keep with a float rig. And we'll try over there. Oh. I actually think the fish we see stuck to the top left there is an Orid trout. The coloration of it makes me feel like that's the case. I just don't know if it'll... It feels like I could walk over there and just pick it up out of the water because of how it's bugged out right now. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll get attracted to our lure and that'll kind of fix it. <laughs> I know it says that we have to catch one. It doesn't say we have to use a fishing rod for it. <laughs> yeah, it's bugged out there pretty good if it's still... Like, even with having turned as it has. Well, there's a little wiggle to it. Yeah, no. Not doing anything. I It must be stuck pretty good there. I'm going to see if I can scare it away from there, just... No, it looks like now it's completely frozen in place. Yeah, I'm going to go poke the bug. 
See if I can get it to be scared away from there. I mean, otherwise it's just going to be completely frozen there, and it's going to look really weird. Because as much as I won't have my, or won't try to have my attention focused on it. There you go. And we did our little part for the wildlife. Now, will we get good karma from that, and we get a chance for what we're after, or we'll just have to end things here? And eh, we'll give it a minute or two and see what happens. At least sounds like this... Sounds and looks like there's a fair bit of activity to this water body. There's been quite a few fish that we can see swimming around or bubbling at the water's surface. Or even jumping. Now we just need one of them to be interested and to go for what we got. But maybe I won't be checking uh, the other outposts to see if there is diamond uh, missions available yet. Or at least next weekend it will be something I could try doing. I'm just going to bring that in. There's been a fair bit of activity over this way. So I'm just going to cast it over there and see. And I'll let this sit for another minute and then we'll end the episode off here. They might have gone a little longer for how I usually keep the angler, but timings... I've gotten a bit more room freed up now because of the upload times being reduced. I'll just give it a moment or two, see what happens, and if nothing, bring it right in. I'll probably stay here and come next weekend, start right off from this point, because there's no real sense in uh, removing the progress we've made for coming out here. But is there any kind of trophy fish that I have in mind I'd like to catch before the series ends? I'm thinking maybe a gold or diamond. Uh, I don't. I feel like diamond would be too big to go, go after. But I'm thinking I want to go for more northern pike and more tiger muskies, just because they should be fun fights once we can get one uh, hooked. And we can see from there how it goes. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's going after it. And it's one of those things, too, that because of trying to mind the cost for new equipment, I don't want to try and go for, like, a splurge of getting all kinds of spinning bait lures that are, like, say, hook size 2 and 1. Although, I'd probably just go for the hook size of 1, really. I don't know. Feels like a lot of gear has kind of become obsoleted now. Unless you want to go for, like, bronze and silvers. Yeah, it looks like nothing's going to happen here. So you know what? I'm going to bring that in, and we'll bring this episode to a close with a nice little vista looking out from here. Yeah, something like that works. So thank you all very much for joining me on this episode called Wild the Angler. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care... Stay alive and happy angling.